how radical he really is. So what you're seeing here is Frozen Factory, which is actually inspired from Wasp World and Sonic Runners. You can tell by the music and the assets they use are taken from Sonic Wasp World, which is pretty nice, even though I do not like Wasp World. But right here, it just it just dropped today, so I thought I'd be good idea to make a video on it, pretty much. So yeah. And I saw a QTE section right here. Over here. Oh, okay. I thought I got hit there, but nope, it did not. And Oh, we'll do it right here too. Pretty cool. And wow. Interesting. This whole session right here reminds me so much of a Mario Kart level. I have all these bombs right here. Speedy the void pretty much. And Okay, cool. Checkpoint. Yeah. Okay, cool. The person who made the mod said that um it's not that polished, so you can see like a lot of jank, which I mean a lot of these frontier level mods have. But I mean, it's not the fault of like the mod itself. It's just, I mean, Frontier modding. Oh my god. But yeah, like Frontier's level modding that's just taken off. It's gonna take a while for like some polish pretty much. And like it's different from Generations. Cause like Generations is like 11 years of like modding. And it's gotten like better and better every time. Like Frontier's like been out for like a year and a half pretty much. So yeah, some time. But I feel like over time, like Frontier's gonna reach the same level of like uh, modding as like Generations eventually. Cause I mean like, this is a game everyone likes. I mean like Forces and like Colors Ultimate and stuff like that too. I mean like those. There weren't that many good mods for that pretty much. I mean, except for like Forces Overclock and that um probably the ultimate project that's coming out, Jumps had actually. It's called like Project Rainbow, which I plan on doing that for like either a video or a stream, so stay tuned for that. Can't wait for that to drop. And that mod is gonna like not only like improve the graphics, but also like um have fully like you know remastered cutscenes with the uh new visuals. Cause like apparently in the files, like they left the cutscene uh files in the game, so you can actually like, go ahead and like edit that. With like your own visuals and stuff like that too, which is pretty cool. And then, this is pretty cool. But you know, Frontiers and me have like uh like combat mods, physics mods, you know, stuff that like improve the game, but also stuff like you know, like the Frontiers mods, even like someone also making like custom movesets too. Like the Chaos Blast and stuff like that too, so that's like pretty cool. Gotta be careful here. <sighs> yeah, I have the uh physics mod on too, so it's really good, but like it's too responsive for that section, especially like no guardrails. I see that nice little mountain there, and oh, that's the end of the stage. Personally, I thought it'd be longer than that, but hey, don't blame it. I don't really care about going for the S ring. I just like I just want to try to beat my own time. I think it's possible to skip the loot loops here. I can try. Oh shoot! Can they skip here? Oh, you could actually. I see another section right here. What is this? Ah. Another pathway to go to. I don't know how you go here, but that's pretty cool. Yay! Wow. That's the fast I've seen the freaking uh, spike roll right here. Okay, shoot. That's a nice sense of difficulty right here. It's nice. Okay, cool. Dang. Back to the beginning. You know, I don't really care about, like, eating all the time. At least I found another pathway. I'm gonna go over here, actually. I see some enemies over here. We see you have a code that um you can boost for the enemies, which I mean, I don't know why they didn't have that in the base game. I mean, yeah, there's a rocket boost in the DLC, but like then again, like, it just feels so weird that like you can't boost for enemies. It's like the 06 equivalent of like not jumping on enemies the normal way and only using the homie tech pretty much. I mean, like with the boost, you only use the homie tech pretty much or the spin dash. But yeah, I just felt so weird that they didn't. Oh crap! Almost saved myself and. I'm probably able to save myself. Oh wait, hold up. Dang. Didn't know there'd be a kill moment right there actually. That's like literally like unleashed right there. We're already near the end of the stage pretty much. And I see uh there too is like a whole tree right here. Which is pretty cool. Over here. Be careful right here. Even though I don't like lot. Even though I don't like Wasp World, even though I don't like Wasp World, I think like the level themes are pretty cool. Like, Frozen Fact is probably the best one, best looking one out of the entire game, honestly, even though it does feel out of place for Sonic a bit. Like, this whole like Minecraft style they went for for like Wasp World and Forces just didn't work. And there you go, end the stage. I see some cocoa there too. That's nice. And there we go, that's the end of the stage. So, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch y'all later.